watch fans. I got another one here. Let's see. Maybe there's a good one. I have no idea. But we're going to find out. TW. Is it a Timex? Yes, it is. Okay, I have no idea. Interesting. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Well, let's watch this video. Timex Group, formerly known as Timex Corporation, is an American global watch manufacturing company originally founded in 1854 under the name of the Waterbury Clock Company. In 1941, the company was purchased by Fred Olson and Company and reformed into the Timex Corporation. Timex Corporation continued to operate globally for many decades with manufacturing and offices in several countries. In 2008, the company was acquired by Timex Group BV, a privately held Dutch holding company, and was renamed Timex Group USA. Currently, Timex Group BV's products are manufactured in the Philippines, Hong Kong, China, France, India, and Switzerland, often based on technology that continues to be developed in the United States and in Germany. The most famous of these manufacturing facilities is their primary quartz factory located in Cebu, Philippines. This factory produces quality quartz movements that are used in their chronograph and classic line of watches. The watches produced at this factory account for nearly 70% of total movement manufacturing. It is also the home for Timex's famous Indiglo backlit illumination system. The movements produced from this factory are known in particular for their iconic Timex sound. While noticeable, the sound is not distracting but adds to the distinctive characteristic that comes with the purchase of every analog Timex watch. Timex remains as one of the longest-lived global watch manufacturers in the world. They are known not only for their spectacular quality and innovation, but for the exceptional value to cost. All Timex watches undergo a series of controlled tests to ensure the highest level of quality to the customer. When you buy a Timex, you are not just buying a watch, you are buying heritage. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed that video. I don't know about you, but uh, I think that narrator's got an excellent voice. Uh, but that's just me. Alright, so first thing I want to discuss about this watch is what it is and what it is not. Now, uh, it looks like a dive watch, right? I'm wearing a fairly generic Dusso dive watch, 200 meter automatic. It's nice, right? I like this watch. It's a good all around watch you know uh it's dive watch but i'm just wearing it for whatever but this watch is not a dive watch this watch more or less is trying to emulate what used to exist back in the day it's what we called a skin diver and i will show a quick video of one up here uh i don't have it on me right this minute but i'll take a video and i'll just show it up there it's essentially more or less a usually a black face um, stainless steel case and a black uh, bezel period um, sometimes the older skin divers they had an acrylic crystal that was pressed in uh, usually they use some sort of a, a glue adhesive as well uh, for better sealing but at the end of the day they were probably two one two or three at best uh, atmospheres so 30 meters uh, this watch is a 50 ATM. I'll put the chart up there. Uh, 50 ATM is perfect for pretty much anything that you're wanting, that you're going to want to do short of actually any kind of diving or snorkeling. 
Now, I believe you can actually use this for snorkeling because uh, even though it may not feel like it, 50 meters is quite a distance. 50 meters is, um, you know, half the length of a football field. And most people can't swim down further than 20 feet without getting uh, significant pressure in their ears and, you know, and then they come back up, plus it's, you know, the oxygen, whatever. Uh, this watch has a leather strap and obviously you wouldn't want to wear this at the beach with a leather strap. They do offer, and I'll put a picture of it right here, uh, they do offer this exact same watch with a uh, steel bracelet, which I think makes, makes much more sense if you plan to make this an all-round watch, which it is perfect for. Now, I got this with a leather strap because it was cheaper. Um, I would probably put this on a... A nylon strap and I have several and I'll put a picture up here and I'll probably do it because it's it's not that I don't like these leather straps I mean this is fantastic but I'd much rather just have a a nylon strap it just makes more sense it's more rugged uh, but I paid $38 or a penny short $38 for this watch so it's a fantastic deal uh, the one with the steel bracelet usually goes for another $10 $15 more uh, the MSRP for this watch is $75. So even at that, this is a fantastic deal. This is one of those watches that is manufactured in Cebu, Philippi uh, Cebu Philippines. Uh, the movement and everything is, is all manufactured there and assembled there. Uh, pretty fantastic factory. I've seen a lot of pictures of it. Actually, I should have been in the video. Um, so proud workforce. They do a great job. I mean, this is for what I paid for this watch. I mean basically shy of 40 bucks. This is a fantastic watch. Uh, most people would buy a watch like this and keep it for a decade, right? And, you know, it's just, it's a great deal. Um, so there's that. Now it also has Indiglo and you can see, well, I guess you can't really see it because it's too bright in here. But I put, I'll put a picture because it does have Loom and I'll show the Loom first. And it's pretty nice, right? Loom is pretty decent, but if you also want the Indiglo, boom, Indiglo works as well too. So either way, I thought it's really cool. Um, very big fan of the Indiglo's. I think it's fantastic. Uh, again, no frills watch, but it is a good solid watch all day long. All right, let's start doing some measurements. I'm going to say it's about a 42 millimeter. Well, you know what? It, say, it says it's a 42, but this clearly is a 43. Sometimes they undermeasure when they build these things, or there's, I don't know where they're measuring it from, but it's just not right. Uh, 20 millimeter lug, and I'm gonna say this is a 12, 12 or 13. Okay, 11.7, we'll call it a 12. So fantastic. Lug to lug, not good at that. We'll say 48. 46 and a half, lug the lug. All right, let's do the weight. Seventy-five grams. All right, so not bad at all. Um, really, there's not much more to tell about this watch. I mean, it does have a functional bezel. Um, all right, it does not. No, it should. It really doesn't? Hmm. Yeah, no bezel. Okay, well, that's all right. It's just for looks, but that's fine. I mean, you know, what are you going to use it for? But uh, again, I think this is a fantastic watch. I mean, it's such a great deal. It, it, oh, sorry, there's the Lego. <laughs> um, I, I really do love these watches. Uh, Timex makes some fantastic watches. They are just, this is a spectacular watch. For the price, value, I mean, how can you go wrong? This is under $40. You can buy them all day long on Amazon um, and eBay for 40 bucks brand new, just like this one. You just cannot go wrong. This is a great watch. So, all right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more like this, of course, subscribe. And if you liked it, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up. And I'm always looking for new watch recommendations. Again, my price range is generally under $500. So thank you very much.